Welcome back. I'm Livia Nelson. And I'm Blaz Ruthra. And this is UCTV. Union City's High School has recently made some changes in its eligibility rules. Also, this week it's fundraiser season for both our Tiger and Lady Tiger teams. Plus, our student council is putting on together plans for Halloween dance. All this and more on this week's UCTV. Adventure kids are up to date on the latest fire safety. Allison Corley is on the scene. Hi guys, I'm back and as you can see we are here in the Union City Fire Station. I am here with David Jones and Chris Norwood. So, what all are y'all teaching the kids here? We're trying to teach them fire safety. As you know, this is Fire Safety Week, which is supposed to be all throughout the nation. Everyone is supposed to practice it, so we just try to teach them Little fire safety things about smoke detectors and how to get out of their house if it was on fire and their meeting places. And, and this year's theme is two ways out. So making a plan with their family to have two ways out in case of an emergency. And what are y'all showing the kids here with all the trucks? Well, this is our, uh, it's called an engine. This is, this particular truck is made just for fighting like house fire, structure fires, something big. Um, and we have different ones. Um, we have trucks to haul water, tankers. We have trucks like this that are made for grass fires, things like that. Um, and then the first one over there, as you've seen, is uh, for medical stuff. So if someone's having anything from a heart attack to not feeling well to a car wreck or anything like that, anything medical is what that truck's for. So there's usually a truck for any situation. Is there anything else that y'all would like to add on that y'all would like the kids to know? <laughs> oh, just, you know, when we come to a, a fire, you know, especially little kids get a little worried when they see us in all of our gear, and we don't look like normal people. You know, we've got usually a mask on and stuff, and, and it would be helpful for them to know, uh, know us that way in case we come to your house and it's on fire, they could be scared, and I don't want them to, you know, be worried more about us being there. Does that make sense? So, uh, so we try and let them get used to this stuff so they're not uh, just totally oblivious to it when, when the time comes. Because it can happen to anybody at any time. So. Okay. Well, all of you in city would like to thank y'all for helping us when we are here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's everyone's favorite week starting Monday the 23rd. That's right, it's Red Ribbon Week here at Union City. If one week of crazy outfits isn't enough, don't worry, we've got you covered. Spirit Week is October 30th through November 3rd. If you have any questions about what you need to be wearing, please contact your grade student council representative. Jackson Berdecki has a special piece on eSports for us this week. Do you want to make tons of money, like lots of money? Well, we got the answer for you, and that is eSports. Esports is a competitive gaming electronic sports, or programming in Korea, is a term for like organized multiplayer video games, competitions between professional players and others, you know, you just gotta be good. Some games like League of Legends, Overwatch, Dota, and Hearthstone are all part of the esports. To tell you how serious this is, the prize pool for Dota in 2017 was $25 million, but we are mainly going to be focusing on League of Legends because they are currently doing their World Championship Series. League is a strategy game with three lanes, and in these lanes there are towers, and you have to destroy all the towers and get to their nexus to win the game. Right now, we are in group stage 7 out of 8 to see who will make semifinals and finals. All the teams that have competed this year have done extremely great. But the prize pool for League is not as high. It's only at 2.1 million, but that's still a lot, and that's not including all the sponsors and extra donations. If you want to know more about the games going on, go to the League of Legends websites and obviously click on the World Championship Series and it will tell you everything, the schedules and everything. Thank you. We will come back next week and let you know about the results of the games and give you more information about it. Guys, Saturday the 28th, there's spaghetti dinner, so make sure they're there except Liv because she's vegan. And let's see what's going on with elementary teams with Jack Walkabout. Before the fall break, the elementary teams had a few games. On October 9th and 10th, the 5th and 6th grade teams played in the Graysmont Festival. The Lady Tigers fought hard, but lost both of their games. On the other hand, the boys in blue played well. The Tigers went 1-1 one one in the festival, losing to Binger by 3 in the first game, and beating Fort Cobb 24-19 in the second game. Then, on October 13th, the 3rd 
through sixth grade teams played at Banner Elementary. Third and fourth grade teams both lost their games, while the fifth and sixth grade teams won both of their games. This week, the basketball season continues as the third and fourth grade teams and fifth and sixth grade teams are playing at Riverside on Tuesday. I'm Jack Walkabout, UCTV Sports. Thank you, Jack. Student Council is planning a Halloween dance on October 27th. That's right, guys. So buy your tickets for $3 today, or tickets on the day ahead will be $5. Your choice. Speaking of the dance, would you like to go with me? I'm married. JC Steely won something, so congratulations on your accomplishment. It's getting chilly out there. Send it to Michael Bowles with weather. Hey everyone, I'm Michael Bowles. Today I went a bit extreme and took a trip to the mountains to remind everyone that winter is right around the corner. For now, let's talk about some global weather. Wildfires are still in California. There has been an estimated $1.2 billion in damage, and there's still 400 people missing, and that's just in Santa Rosa alone. Prayers out to them and their families. There's another hurricane called Ophelia in the Atlantic on the, on the side of Spain and Portugal. This week, around here, the weather is going to be about mid-70s to mid-60s for our highs. You make sure you want to have a jacket on your way to school because you might get chilly. Winter can sneak up on us at any time, so be prepared. Thank you. Guys, I, I can't put my arms down. So Halloween, guys, is coming up. So Liv, what are you going to be doing? I'm going trick-or-treating. So do they make vegan candy? Most candy's vegan unless it's chocolate. Alicia Johns has a story of new eligibility rules. Alicia, eligibility starts this week, and if you're on the list, get your work done. Eligibility this year will be based off of your progress from the pacing guide and your grades. So if you do not have a pacing guide, ask your teacher, mentor, or even Miss Mitten, because I know they will give you one. I talked with Miss Mitten about probation. Probation is just a warning. It'll give you an extra week to get your work done. Probation. With probation, you can still do all your extracurricular activities, but if you're ineligible, you cannot. So get your work done. Thank you, Alicia. And thank you guys for watching. I'm Livia Nelson. And I'm Blaze Withrow. And this is UCTV. Stay swole, Union City. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to art class. Also, just a side note, could you zoom in on my face right now? Dad, if you are watching this, I know you took my last bagel and I'm coming for you. So, for a couple months now, there's this trend going around Instagram called the wavy eyebrow trend. And I thought, why not, and let's try it. So, I guess first we're going to be taking off my eyebrows with a paper towel because who am I, a Kardashian? I can't afford makeup wipes. Alright, now I guess we're gonna put some Elmer's glue on them to glue them down because I also can't afford eyebrow gel. So just get it all gluey on there and then brush them down in a curve. Okay, gonna let that dry. And now the fun part. And there you have it. You're one step to becoming Instagram famous. Thank you and good night. Welcome back to Chips Chat. 
We're going to do a similar segment this week, like we did last week, with the teachers read mean tweets, but this time, the principals are going to read mean tweets. But remember, you cannot go tweeting to them. You can't tweet to the teachers, can't say mean things. This is just for fun. Thank you, and peace out, my dudes. Boo at Miss Griggs. From Emily Griggs. Seriously, Emily? We'll talk about this at home. Does at Mr. Carroll even lift? <laughs> That's funny. I understand this one's from Chelsea, so she should get in the weight room. I've seen her noodle arms. I wish I had a dollar for all the pink slips at Miss Griggs wrote me in elementary school. She's mean. Seriously, Allison, me too. That Hummer would be totally paid for. Okay, if at Mr. Carroll calls you punk, don't think you're special. He just doesn't know your name. Well, you're all very special to me. <laughs> I have nothing bad to say about at Mrs. Griggs, except for that gray shirt she wears. I, I don't, I don't like that. Seriously? Is it that bad? The best part about Mr. Carroll's morning announcements is when they're over. You should listen to my announcements and maybe you'd know what's going on. I like your eggs. I still like your eggs. So our elementary kids are up to date on the latest for fire safety. Allison Corley is on the scene. Yeah. You gotta roll with it! It's everyone's favorite week starting Monday, 23rd. That's right, it's red. <laughs> everyone's... Hey, close that door. That We've been trying to do this for like oh, 10 minutes. Are you kidding me? That one... It's everyone's favorite week starting Monday, 23rd. That's right, it's Red Ribbon Week here at Union City. And one week of crazy outfits. So... <laughs> <laughs> It's everyone's favorite week starting Monday the 23rd. That's right, it's Red Ribbon Week here at Union City. If one week crazy outfits isn't enough, don't worry, we got you covered. Spirit Week is October 30th through November 3rd. If you have any questions about what you need, be sure to be wearing and contact your great student council representative. <coughs> I didn't you bought that, that so bad. <laughs> Boo, at Miss Grace. Twenty eighth. No. <laughs> Let's get it off. It's everyone's favorite week starting Monday the twenty third. That's right. It's Red Ribbon Week here at Union City. If one week of outfits isn't crazy enough, don't you wait? Oh, Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> I don't like you being upset. It really upsets me. Makes me want to cry. You stop calling me Olivia. I'm gonna be upset. Olivia. Yesterday when Coach called you Olivia, I laughed really hard. Why oh my God! They made me want to cry. He was like. And Olivia was on defense. I was like, he's known me for like five years. Did you read the scripts? <laughs> what? Did you read the scripts all the way through? I'm sure. Oh, I'll please tell me it's all Olivia. One of them. <laughs> Today, we're going to put a little spin on things. Coach Griggs is going to teach some technology to Mr. Binge. I'm going to send a fax. We're going to start with face up, putting the sheets in. Come over here and we push down to facts, we hit OK, black facts, which is black and white, yes, we hit OK, and you enter the number. Just like a hotel, we have to use the number 9 first, 9, and it's a local number, so then we'll go with that. So we'll retry. I'll let Mr. Binge retry. But I taught Mr. Binge something today. That's a first technology.